Hi, I'm Lawless Allen, driver of the number 25 Auto Park at Chevrolet, and over the next few minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Auto Park It system. Let's start with what you need to access the system. Whether you're driving a car or riding a bike, you need a key fob. The key fob is used to park and retrieve your car or bike, and it provides you access to the lobby and load bays. You'll also need an RFID tag for your car. Place on your windshield or the back of your rear view mirror. The RFID lets the auto park it system know that you're an approved user so that you have access to park in the system. Make sure you have your RFID in place in your car and your key fob with you before attempting to park. Instructions for both of these items are also included in your user pack. So now that you know what you need, let's go park. The first step is to pull up to the RFID reader in the garage. If the light is green, the load bay is available for you to park. If the light is yellow, that means the load bay is in use and should be available in just a moment. So just remain in the entry lane and wait for a green light. If the light is red, that means the auto park it system is full and you should choose another place to park. Once the light turns green, pull forward to the load bay door. A second RFID reader will verify your ID and the garage door will open automatically. You can then pull into the load bay. Pull in slowly and watch the monitor for directions to park your car. Once you're in the proper spot, the monitor will instruct you to stop. Then just put your car in park, turn off the engine, apply your parking brake, and exit your vehicle. Gather what you need from your car. And make sure you never leave your kids or pets in the car. And head directly to the park kiosk. Remember to have your key fob with you. Touch the park button on the screen and tap the reader with your key fob. A few questions will pop up on the monitor. Just answer the questions correctly with a yes or no. And once you're done, you'll be prompted to exit the load bay. And that's it. Auto Park It does the rest. Parking doesn't get any easier than that. And if for any reason you change your mind about parking, you can always press the exit button on the screen and your park request will be canceled. Oh. I forgot to pick up coffee for the office. The garage door will immediately open, allowing you to drive right out of the system. So now that you know how to park, let me show you how convenient it is to retrieve your car when you're ready to leave. Throughout the Helms campus, you'll find remote key fob readers. You can swipe your fob at any one of these readers to request your vehicle. So, while you're on your way over to the parking structure, Auto Park It has already begun to retrieve your car. Cool, right? It's not the way your dad got his car. Auto Park It will move your car to a queuing stall. This usually takes less than a couple minutes, so please head straight to the lobby. Whether you requested your car at a remote reader or at the lobby, there may be other folks ahead of you. So, check your place on the queue monitor when you get to the lobby. Your name will be displayed in the order as requested. The color-coded arrows will tell you the status of your vehicle, with green meaning your vehicle is in the load bay, yellow meaning your vehicle is en route, and blue means your vehicle is in the queue waiting for its turn to be delivered. Use your key fob to enter the lobby or to retrieve your vehicle if you didn't swipe at a remote reader. Once your vehicle is retrieved, tap your key fob one more time at the load bay reader to confirm you are the vehicle's owner. This is an auto park it safety feature so that no one else can gain access to your car. Once you've done that, the sliding door will open and you can enter the load bay. The garage door will automatically open a couple seconds later and you're ready to go. And if you decide not to leave, or you only called your car to get something out of it, no problem. Just press the Repark button on the touchscreen. Exit the load bay through the sliding glass door. Auto Park It will automatically repark your car. Oh, one other thing. If you request your vehicle and forget to retrieve it, your car will be reparked automatically. 
but that can cause a delay to other users, so try to avoid calling your car if you're not sure you're ready to leave. Now that's the way parking is supposed to be, right? So now that you know what to do, let's go over what not to do. Please don't hang out in the load bay after you park your car. Others might be waiting to park their car as well. Oh, I gotta go. So yeah, don't do that. Before tapping your key fob on a remote reader, please be sure you're ready to get your car. Otherwise, your car could clog up the queue, causing someone else to be delayed. What? Forget something? Oh, my car. And don't think I forgot about you bike riders. Auto Park it handles parking and protecting your bike in pretty much the same way as parking a car. Hey, Lawless. Hey, Dasher. You want to take it from here? On it. Hi, I'm Dasher Allen, driver of this bike, I guess. Let me show you bike riders how to park. Start by tapping your key fob to the reader outside of the lobby. This will call down a bike pallet to the load bay. Then just wait outside the exit garage door, and once it opens, head inside with your bike. Secure your bike in an empty position in the rack. Once it's in place, head to the park kia. The touch screen will prompt you to tap your key fob again. This confirms your bike is ready to store. Like before, you'll complete the questionnaire in the screen. After leaving the load bay, tap your fob one more time on the lobby reader. This lets the system know you're ready to have your bike stored. Please be sure to do this last step because if you don't, it may delay someone else waiting to park. Retrieving your bike is just as easy. You can use one of the remote kiosks or scan at the lobby. Just tap your key fob and you'll be added to the queue. Once your bike is in the load bay, tap your key fob and head inside. Unlock your bike and exit through the open garage door. Now on your way out, tap the reader outside the lobby with your key fob to complete your retrieve and you're all set. Like before, just make sure you don't hold up the line if people are waiting to park their cars or store their bikes. How was that? You learned fast. And there you have it. That's how you auto park it. And if at any time you need assistance, just hit us up at the number on the monitor. We're always there to help. Auto park it, the way parking was meant to be. We're bringing Sexy back to parking.